do you need to meticulously plan your through hike? Let's talk about that. <laughs> I am very much a spontaneous person. I am also a bit lazy and I don't like planning. I don't like I don't like all the effort it takes to apply for a job or grad school or the effort that it takes to plan a huge vacation with a lot of different people and a lot of moving parts. It's just, I'm just like, ah, oh, let's just go out and do something spontaneous, you know. And so, through hiking, it is a massive undertaking. When you start researching it, you're just overwhelmed. You're just, you know, you're thinking about all the gear that you'll possibly need, figuring out when to start, how to get through it all, resupplies, where you're going to resupply, how you'll resupply, when do you send the boxes, where do you send the boxes to, what do you eat along the way, how much do you eat of certain things, what gear you're going to need to replace along the way, how much money you're going to need, where you'll stop, if you'll make it across. Like it's just, there's so much, there's so much when it comes to through hiking to think about. And it can be it can be overwhelming and for someone that's very spontaneous kind of like myself you might just be like you might not end up doing it because it's just it takes too much time and, and effort and I'm gonna tell you this you don't have to plan your through hike hardly at all that sounds kinda of crazy but you don't you can you can totally wing your through hike alright not totally but in very certain ways you can totally wing it so one is you don't need resupply boxes you don't you can just start your hike you know now this is coming off of like the pacific crest trail and the appalachian trail i'm not sure about the continental divide but you can just start your hike you know you know where it starts um you know the pacific crest trail starts in campo appalachian trail starts here um, and you just start there and you just start walking and start with enough food to know that you can get to the next place and obviously you've done a little bit of research you've read some stuff online you've watched some videos and so you know the basics of the trail and as you get to places where you can buy food you buy food when you buy food there you look ahead on your map to see where you need to buy food next and then you say okay it's looks like it's about five days away I'll have five days of food and you buy food at the next place you don't have to meticulously plan you don't have to plan ahead on where you're going to stay at night you don't have to plan it's it can seem overwhelming because there's so much that is involved with Pacific Crest Trail um, and other through hikes the Appalachian Trail you can plan even less because that one even more people are on it and the trail goes through more more towns and you're closer to civilization um, not always but more often than not and so with these hikes you you can wing a lot of it there are people who have brought very very little and so many hikers are willing to help out other hikers that they've given other stuff to those hikers my first day I didn't have any duct tape and someone was very happy to give me duct tape because that meant they were carrying a little bit less weight you know that was totally fine with them and hiker boxes if you don't know what a hiker box is every place that goes along the pacific crest trail um, that's like a place that you stop at like a town has hiker boxes these are boxes that hikers throw stuff that they don't need anymore or don't want into these boxes have food Every single box I've seen has at least some food, clothes, shoes, gear, all kinds of stuff. So you can get tons of stuff from these hiker boxes. And then when you need new stuff, say your shoes are about to um, break through on the bottom, guess what? Just go to Amazon, figure out where your next resupply is, ship it to that resupply. Say you're, in, say you're halfway between Tehachapi and Kennedy Meadows, and your shoes are about to die and you want to have some good ones starting at Kennedy Meadows then just order some on Amazon to get to Kennedy Meadows or if you're really close to Kennedy Meadows and you don't think it'll get there in time send them to Lone Pine like 
it's very simple as you need the things you buy it. so you don't have to plan ahead is what I'm saying you can hike you can do your through hikes and you do not have to meticulously plan everything you can if you like to that's totally fine but I'm just saying you don't need to if you don't want to the one the thing that I think is good about having uh, boxes sent to you would be that you're spending a, a little less money um, you're forced to kind of get that thing and so you know like for me I've spent too much money so far on the trail but Oregon and Washington are very much resupply boxed up um, and so a lot of what I'll be eating is resupply stuff and so I won't be spending as much money so that's kind of a, a good thing about resu resupply boxes but if you do send resupply boxes send as little as needed um, I ended up sending myself 11 which I think is too many I could have easily resupplied on my own um, from some of the resupplies that I've already gotten it's going to likely be true in the future as well um, so yeah hope you like this video if you did make sure to like it um, comment if you have any questions or comments that you want to add to this video uh, make sure to share with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe thanks guys